When choosing an investment to make, it can be hard to pick from the numerous options available in the market. If you are new to investing, a unit trust fund is a good way to start. Unit trusts are a popular investment vehicle managed by experts and are best suited for seasoned investors and those with less experience in the financial landscape. The Unit Trust First is a, a mutual fund where money is brought together from different investors or unit holders and then a fund manager is now involved to manage this money to achieve a specific return. The fund manager will invest in different instruments or in different assets and then the returns are then uh, divided back to the investors in regards to how they had invested. There are different types of unit trusts with different risks and exposures. I'll begin with one, the money market, which is commonly known. It's out there because of its nature. Uh, it's termed as one that is, has the lowest risk return. It has capital preservation in that. Whichever money you deposit in a unit, in a money market unit trust, you, are, you have a guarantee you will not lose this money. Then it earns on a daily basis, but to make it simple, our company will have an average of the month, then you know, uh, calculate the interest and then attach it to the principal at the end of the month. For the risk takers, there is the equity fund where fund managers invest in shares. Shares is a high risk affair in the markets. Uh, and very volatile. Uh, today you can have a share, a share, you know, for a company selling at 10 shillings, then one thing just makes it go down. But at the same time, even if it's high risk, the same way, it will also gain equally so high. Due to its high volatility, young investors are advised to venture into the equity fund because they have more time to wait for their investments to grow. It's a high-risk uh, platform to invest as an investor. It doesn't mean, you know, you should fear, you know, and not engage. Especially the young, we are encouraged to invest in such because at least you're working. Eh? But the elderly, we kind of hesitate because they have already worked. They want to make sure there is capital preservation in regards to, to the what they have already earned. After every six months, we have dividends. When you buy the equity fund, uh, whatever you have invested equals a particular number of shares depending on how much you have invested. So when I say there are dividends, the number of units you have bought will be increased by the number of dividends. Despite the expected higher returns, the equity fund has an administration cost. A particular percentage that is tagged along because of, of course, of how high risk it is. So it, when, when you're purchasing or when you're doing a top up, it will, the amount will be less the administration costs. The third one is a fixed income fund, which is classified as a medium risk investment. It is not that high, it's not that low, so we call it as a medium risk platform. As fund managers, we reinvest in bonds, government bonds and corporate bonds. It is more or less similar, like I've discussed, the equity. It has also dividends. It is attracting an administration cost as well. For those investors who want the best of both worlds, there is the balanced fund. The balanced fund is a portfolio. Uh, it's a mix of two. So it has equity in it and it has money market in it. Again, it has an administration costs. It has dividends, uh, then they are on a quarterly basis. The mere fact that there is that aspect of equity in that but a portfolio, of course, there is some risk factor involved. But it's also an interesting one, one that is advised to be taken by younger people because of the, you realize growth and you're able to at least put your risk there. So for the three that I've mentioned, the last three, that is balance fund, equity, and fixed income. Of course, you, you can invest a million, Bob, and then look at your statement and find it at 990 because of purely, you know, the fluctuation and where we are investing this money. Due to the high risk factor on the balanced equity and fixed income funds, Mary advises investors to conduct thorough research on how the market is faring before venturing into the three. Both three of them need require some time for you to realize growth. Uh, unlike the money market, 
because the money market is earning on a daily basis but this one they will need at some time so that you you at least get more dividends and of course you realize more growth you want to sell these units much higher than how you bought them so it also needs a lot of speculation you need to know the right time to buy these funds as well as an investment scheme unit trusts help to cultivate a culture of saving it gives you a discipline of savings. Most of our young generation, we are here to get there, but at least it gives you that discipline of, if you have some surplus, you can put it somewhere that is also gaining. It's not just saving, it's something, it's one shilling gaining another shilling, another shilling gaining another shilling. According to the Capital Market Authority, the number of unit trust holders has more than tripled to 257,166 at the end of 2022 from 84,050 in September 2012. The growth in the number of unit trust holders has coincided with a 379% growth in the Skins' assets and a management to 155.91 billion Kenyan shillings from 32.53 billion Kenyan shillings over the period. The regulator attributes the growth in the unit trust investor base to the preference for indirect investing through experts.